Hello and welcome to my Williams RTG career mode here today for the Italian Grand Prix here at Monza. We've had some sensational races here so far in this career mode. Let's get into it with the grid. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Hamilton, Lando Norris and Gasly, Ricardo, Russell, Sonoda and Carlos Sainz, Stroll, Vettel, Brown and Ocon, Giovinazzi, Joe, Christian Lundgaard and Charles Leclerc. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So we're going to do a one stop then. Starting in 13th, a little bit off George who is in 8th. Let's go then to the five red lights here in Monza. It's lights out and away we go. The Red Bull and the Mercedes get away well here. Yeah. Straight over to the inside. But now we're trying to find ourselves right on the inside. Try and send it against some places down the inside. We're getting quite a few there. We find ourselves on the back of George. Round the outside of Yuki Sonoda. George Russell has just got just ahead of the McLaren. And we're behind the McLaren now. Heading towards the second again. We go. And can we have a look at the McLaren though? We're a little bit too far back. As we have a big moment on the curb, bouncing over it. And Yuki Tsunoda is now behind us. And we are up into P9 from P13 for positions as we go a little bit wide there on the exit. And now here comes Yuki Tsunoda. Is he close enough to have a go? Yes, he is. Yuki Tsunoda. Backs out of it and there goes the Aston Martin. The flat stroll round the outside. Stroll seeing his chance and goes for it, but Yuki's coming back at him. And it is important to try and break away this part in the race. Just manage our own pace. As he does stay ahead there. But here comes Lando Norris, the two F2 boys back in 2018, wheel to wheel, round the outside, goes Lando Norris, but couldn't pull it off, George stays ahead, and we pulled a little gap to Kisanoda, and just trying now to close up this gap to these two battling, maybe gain a position, maybe snatch the position away from Lando Norris so we can stay clear and keep help George out but George defensively inside into the first chicane you can see Yuki Sonoda the background trying it around the outside Lando Norris tries again and again George gets him on the exit and stays ahead but this time Lando's a lot closer around the curve of Grande they go and now down the inside into the second chicane and this time Lando has got the job done on our teammate. Now we're right on the back of George Russell and I thought we had the pace but Yuki Tsunoda was really getting on my nerves and pinning his back. We just couldn't quite get close enough. But the Alpha Tower looking very strong this season. Um Gasly been in some positions to pick up some good points and um, back in Porto now he nearly got a podium but here comes Yuki Tsunoda nearly nearly getting us there into the Hisikari chicane but just couldn't yet but here he comes up on the exit towards Parabolic or whatever they renamed it now down the inside we defend and Yuki Tsunoda has to live to fight another day but he can have a go into turn one. He's got the exit. This was really not helpful because it was allowing George and Lando to get away, and George actually sticking with Lando Norris. As they go, Shiki Sonoda to our inside. He locks up. We go round the outside and keep the position. 
but he comes with his owner again and this time on lap 6 and this time he just gets us, we need to be contact with the Ferrari but this time Yuki Sonoda has got the job done and he is well up the road now on the exit but now heading down the pit straight and Sebastian Vettel going into the garage again is out and he's been hit by the Alfa Romeo of Lungard and Sebastian Vettel he retired with a crash on the opening lap of last season's Italian Grand Prix has done the same thing, he's dropped it heading into the Scari Chicane and that has brought out the safety car where everyone is pretty much in the pits here and so is George and George because we were so close to him, he's held us up and we're going on to the hards George has gone on to the hards as well and now we wait for the safety car come in and this is Vettel just completely loses it and gets that front left tyre ripped off which I think he got his left tyre ripped off last season at Turn 1 when he clipped the Mercedes so he just loses it in the straight line nearly wipes out his teammate Lungard hits the back of him, had nowhere to go and now after this now the safety car is coming in and the top three of Bottas, Stroll and Tsunoda haven't pitted, everyone else pitted under the safety car and now we can have a go at Lando Norris and we can have a go at Lando Norris to the inside of Lando Norris to the inside of a teammate and to the inside of Sergio Perez and we've got to a three and now George is having a go at Sergio Perez through the car for Brandy George is hitting close enough we gain some positions now and that's Lewis Hamilton! Lewis Hamilton's engine! It's blowing! And as he comes towards his final races in his Formula 1 career, as he announced the retirement at Silverstone, he is out of the Italian Grand Prix. And now here comes Sergio Perez on us. It was only going to be a matter of time. We are nowhere near that Red Bull with this Williams just yet as Lando Norris is going for it again on our teammate is there in the background of Ferrari of Carlos Sainz as well as now Perez got us and now Lando Norris round the outside tries to get past George again and it does George Russell couldn't keep him behind for long enough and now same lap we have no pace on these hard tyres and Lando now into the um, Parabolica is going to try and go round our outside before it's in my but now he's going to have a go into the first chicane but actually he's fell back into George and George is going to have a go in to the outside who's going to be latest on the brakes down into the first chicane and Lando tries to force his friend and former FT competitor wide this time though here comes Lando under the old track into the garage again and this time he's got us Lando just just didn't have the way too quick for us Is now George had quite a bit of pace through the curve of Grande now and George is absolutely blitzed us properly there's always a lot quicker and down the inside tried Carlos Sainz Here we go now then, we didn't really want to overtake Georgia, we were just holding back and Carlos Sainz has hit the back of us his front wing has been ripped off and he's decided 
as the VSC is out and Carlos Sainz is out to the Grand Prix. It's another retirement for Sainz of Ferrari. This time we just he just we just caught him out with our braking. They didn't really want to send it to the inside of George because he was much quicker than us. We just wanted to try and stick with him but we caught our sights here at the back of us, we got away without a puncher. Carlos Sainz, for the second time in his career mode, is out of the Italian Grand Prix. You can see the debris there as he hits the back of us. The VSC came out. Now we're back underway here on lap 18. As this is Valtteri Bottas coming back through after he made a pit stop onto the mediums and goes straight through the middle of the last remaining Ferrari of Charles Leclerc and Esteban Ocon and further around the lap he's on the back of us and just absolutely blitz his passes on his fresh medium compound tyres because there's the massive in performance as well between the, that Mercedes and the Williams but we go very very wide try to free the gravel here comes Charles Leclerc now heading down the pit straight He's on our inside. And now we're going to have to try and sail back around the outside. And we do. And Charles Leclerc has to live to fight another day. Free the Calvert Grande. But Charles Leclerc was falling back because I think he had um, damage to his front wing. We went side by side with him as you would have. Um, the Alfred were all out of shape there. And now here comes Esteban off on. They're trying to go round the outside. And the curve of crowd had the parabolica. And he gets the job done. As Charles the pits. And now here comes Esteban Ocon on us. He caught us up. We push him right off the track. And he's overtaken. Nearly overtaken us there. Surely have to give it a position. If he hadn't. I put it in the barrier. And now Esteban Ocon is out of the Italian Grand Prix. This is turning into another Monza Classic. As there he is, we push him off the track and then just like Sebastian Vettel earlier on in the Grand Prix, absolutely drops it straight into the wall. Must have got on some marbles there in the pit exit. We can see from our replay, there's his front wing, and there he is in the wall. Not a good day for us to knock on him. Here's you can see his point of view, you can just see the damage and the Alpine being flung across the start finish straight. As that brought out another safety car where I thought about pitting onto the softs, but there's three laps left. And I thought we might as well try again what we did on the first safety car restart and just send it down the inside and try and gain some positions as we had a little moment through the gravel on the exit of turn one. Now on lap 25 we're going to get two laps of racing action here in Monza to finish what has been a thrilling Grand Prix that has definitely challenged how good the first race was here in season one. And here we go again. We're on the back of George now. But George had the same idea as us to try and send it down the inside. He must have watched us from the first safety car restart. So George sends it. We try and follow him through right around the outside then. He reels it, but us. As George re overtakes. Gets Bottas and Daniel Ricciardo. Not sure what's happened to draw them to Lando in this race. Actually, he's just up the road. So we go a little bit wide right ahead though. Of Valtteri Bottas. And just like he did earlier on the Grand Prix, Bottas absolutely blitz us down into the garage game. But this time, being a bit more aggressive because this is for position now. Is now down into 
towards the first corner Bottas alongside us again and this time he's more than alongside us is he going to try and hang around the outside? no we defend again but we've gone wide and bouncing over the curbs on the final lap and Bottas is through and now we're going to be left defending Yuki Tsunoda just like the opening laps of this Grand Prix down towards the second chicane you just know they're all over the back of us there. And now it's making into the nose moves. Into the first one. And we went a little bit wide. And you just know the spins. And that's a massive crash. Antonio Giovanazzi goes over the top there of the, uh, the Alpha Tauri of Yuki Sonoda. That's a scary one. Very, very high speed there. As so the Alfa Romeo gets airborne on the final lap very very scary there he just goes straight into the side and the contact with the two tyres sends him up and over the Alfa Tauri this is what it would have looked like from the cockpit look at the air time scary scary incident Fly another car flying through the air after me just like probably not probably on the same level as the vessel in Samia back at Spa and Nikita Mazepin with a thousand IQ play sends it with everyone breaking to the inside but it's a win for Verstappen and it's pretty much a 1-2-3 for Red Bull with Perez second and Gasly third here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. Let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? Nikita Mazepin gets my vote today. Nikita Mazepin gets my vote today. Nikita Mazepin gets my vote today. Well, you know it's been a classic. If Nikita Mazepin gets Driver of the Day, and also, in that great play, Thousand IQ, it's got Haas' first points of the season, and Nikita Mazepin's first points of his Formula 1 career but it's another good result from for us as the team double point score for the first time this season I think that gives us some good points in the standings but what a good what a race that was does that challenge the first race at Monza in season 1 definitely better than last season that was sh absolutely shocking but let me know what you think down below if you're still watching what a race and i'll see you in singapore goodbye